In this video, we continue our discussion of limits in higher dimensions, and we will talk about using the product rule of limits. <clears throat> so remember, in our properties of limits, we found that if you have two functions multiplied together, you can actually factor them into the two functions, take their limits separately, and then multiply the result at the end. So in this example, we want to use the product rule of limits to evaluate the following limit. Limit as xy goes to 0, 0 of parentheses e to the y minus 1, close parentheses, times sine of 2x, all divided by 3xy. <clears throat> now, if I try to plug in the point, I get 0 over 0. So this is a problem. This tells us that we can't determine the limit. So our goal is to break apart the limit into factors whose limits we can determine. So looking at this, uh, this expression, this function, what I notice is that I could break it apart into a y factor with only the variable y and an x factor with only the variable x. This would make it a lot easier to evaluate because we know how to evaluate single variable limits. We have lots of tools for that. So, this is equal to the limit as xy goes to 0, 0 of the y factor, so e to the y minus 1 over 3y, times the x factor sine of 2x over x. So basically I took all the y components, all the y factors, and put them in one factor, and all the x factors and put them in a second factor. Now remember, we have to keep writing the limit as xy goes to 0, uh, 0, 0, until we break it apart. So now what I can do is I can say, well, this is equal to the limit as y goes to 0 of e to the y minus 1 over 3y times the limit as x goes to 0 of sine of 2x over x. So now I have these two single variable limits, which um, we should know how to evaluate from calculus one. And remember, um, both anytime you get a limit of zero over zero, so both limits are zero over zero, and anytime you get that, you can apply L'Hopital's rule. And remember, L'Hopital's rule tells us that we take the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator. So we do each derivative separately and we still apply the limit as y goes to 0 and the limit as x goes to 0. So I have the limit as y goes to 0 of the derivative of e to the y minus 1 is just e to the y, and the derivative of 3y is 3. So I have the limit as y goes to 0 of e to the y over 3 times the limit as x goes to 0, the derivative of sine of 2x, we apply the chain rule, and we get 2 cosine of 2x, and the derivative of the denominator is 1. So now I can just plug in my values because I'm not getting 0 over 0 anymore. So I can say this is equivalent to e to the 0 over 3 times 2 cosine of 0 over 1. And this is 1 third times 2, which gives me 2 thirds as my overall limit. So I started with a 2 variable limit and I broke it apart into two factors, each being a single variable limit, and then I could evaluate those using L'Hopital's rule. So the product rule can actually help you simplify your limit into limits that you can actually take the, um, the limit of.